Hi again, everybody. It's time for Grant's Rant. Grant's Rant today is brought to you by Bennett's Restaurants. Days away from the grand opening of the West Side Grill at the Blue Oaks Town Center. And you can be among the very first to see the restaurant with their soft opening and a tour of the restaurant by the owner, Brian Bennett. Just click on the link in the description and you may be the very first at this beautiful new restaurant. Bennett's Prime Seafood and Steaks. You'll love it. This will be their third location. Go to Bennett'sRestaurants.com for more information. That's Bennett'sRestaurants.com. All right, Aaron Rodgers goes from Green Bay to the New York Jets and already has given them a big-time discount. $35 million is what Rodgers is giving up. He signed a two-year deal, $75 million, fully guaranteed, so don't feel sorry for him. And, and the reality is I'm surprised that more players don't do this. I mean, how much money do you need to live the life of luxury? I mean, Rodgers has already made a ton of money both on and off the field with his endorsements. $75 million over the next two years, fully guaranteed on top of what he already has. And it's not like he's not going to make any money the rest of his life. So, again, you want to win? Give up some money. Especially when you look at the contracts that quarterbacks are getting now in the NFL – you know, you got running backs bitching and moaning because there's no money left over for them. How about a quarterback giving up $5 million so that their running back is happy? Seriously. I mean, it's ridiculous. You know, we talked about this a day ago. Justin Herbert, $52.5 million a year. I'm all four guys getting what they can get, but you really need $52.5 million? I mean, how about signing for $45 million so that the team has some extra dough left over to take care of other players? You know, I applaud Rodgers. You know, again, I'm not feeling sorry for him that he's got to give up $35 million. He probably won't even know that he's given it up. You know, the point is he's already very, very wealthy. Good job. Gives the Jets a better opportunity to win. And here's the other deal. Rodgers is no dummy. He understands that if he can raise the Lombardi Trophy with that franchise, who has not won since Joe Willie Namath in the great, great upset of the Colts in 69, he will be among the Giants in the history of New York sports. I mean, he'll be up there with Willis Reed. He'll be Derek Jeter. I mean, you could even say he'll be Babe Ruth for crying out loud. He'll be the next Joe Namath of the Jets, Eli Manning. I mean, we go on and on. If Rodgers is able to go to that city with that franchise that has been pretty much awful for a long time and win and win it all, oh, he'll be making so much money he won't know what to do with it. So again, I applaud Rodgers, and I'm I'm really surprised that more players in the NFL, particularly quarterbacks, don't do this. And that's my rant for today. Hey, join me a little bit later, right here, seven o'clock Pacific. I am going to be hosting a open forum Q and A. Hope you can join me for that a little later, seven o'clock tonight. Have a great day, everybody.